To explain to us, because I had the question, I'm sure others at home did, <laughs> why are we not calling it a sinkhole? There's depressions, sinkhole. Uh, right, right. You, you, just, you think sinkhole is just kind of a, a common yeah. term. It's actually a really specific definition for, for what it takes for a sinkhole to form. It all has to do with the general makeup of the ground beneath our feet. The Florida Peninsula is actually a plateau of limestone several thousand feet thick that formed actually millions of years ago when the area was a warm, shallow sea. Kind of cool, huh? If you got a minute this morning, I'll explain why all of this makes a difference. The three layers we're looking at here are limestone, followed by clay, and then a sandy soil on top. The layer of clay generally keeps the water from seeping through to the limestone bedrock below, but in some parts of Florida, that protection has worn away, exposing the porous limestone. When it rains, the already slightly acidic rainwater becomes even more acidic as it moves through decaying plant debris in Florida's sandy soil. The rainwater will make its way to the limestone and it's then able to percolate through it. Over eons, this acidic water dissolves and carries away the limestone, creating extensive natural underground voids and caverns. Eventually, there comes a point where the land from above the cavity can't support the weight from above and everything collapses into the hole, or sinkhole. This naturally occurring process is just one of many ways the ground can collapse or depress. And that's where we get the term depression. It's the gradual or sometimes sudden sinking of the Earth's surface from the movement of natural or man-made materials underground. And that's to say, all sinkholes are depressions, but not all depressions are sinkholes. Depressions can form several ways, including drainage of organic soils, broken sewer or underground pipes, and buried trash or other debris. While some holes in the ground can mimic a sinkhole, it takes licensed professional geologists or engineers to verify the true cause of the depression and officially declare it a sinkhole. So at this point, you're probably saying, why does all of this matter, right? Depression, sinkhole, well, because of that specific difference, if it's natural or maybe man-made, sinkholes would normally be covered by insurance. If you purchased a home around here, you know that. They'll send out a team to, to survey if this is a sinkhole area, and then and the insurance may or may not then cover your home. So it's something good to check into to see if your area is particularly prone to sinkholes. We got a lot of